Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how you can use a keypad to control a servo motor using the Arduino. What we are going to do is we are going to simulate uh, locking and unlocking a door. This is something that we normally do in the, in the homes and the offices. So what we want to do is we are going to use two LEDs, the green and the red, where the red one will show that the, the door is locked or the, the servo motor is in one position. And then when we will unlock it using the keypad, it will turn to, the, the, the red light will turn off and the green light will turn on, signifying that the door has been opened. So we are going to open or turn the servo using a keypad or a cord that we have put in the keypad. So the things that you are going to need for this project are the Arduino Uno, the breadboard, the servo motor, the keypad, two LED lights, two resistors that you are going to use to protect the power flow into the LEDs, and a few jumper wires that you are going to use to connect all the components. The first thing that you want to do is to put on the LEDs on the breadboard. You can put them in any position, but mind which direction you are going to be putting the, uh, the negative power because the longer leg is the positive uh, leg of the LED. So make sure that this is the one that is going to be connected to the Arduino. So we start by putting it on the breadboard. We're going to put the green LED light and the red LED light. Just make sure the orientation of the legs because it is important. They will not work if they are facing the wrong way. Right. Now we, that we have the LEDs on the breadboard, we are going to put the resistors that are going to reduce the, amount, the voltage that is going to go into the, into the LEDs. So make sure that you connect it and it goes one leg in line with the LED and the other one we want it to go into the negative rail of the breadboard. Like this. And then you put the other one for the red LED light too. And the other leg must go into the negative rail of the breadboard. And then we are going to need one wire that is going to come from the, rail, the negative rail of the breadboard to the GND on the Arduino so that at least there is a complete circuit. Now what we are going to do now is we are going to use two wires to connect the LEDs to the Arduino. In this particular case what we are going to do is we are going to have our red pin connecting to pin number 12 on the Arduino. And then the green LED light, we're going to use a wire to connect to pin number 13 on the Arduino. Right, with these connected, the next thing now, what we want to do is to connect the servo motor onto the Arduino. The servo motor comes with three wires. The brown wire, which is the ground, the red wire, which is the power, and the orange wire which is the signal wire which is going to be used to control the servo motor. So what we are going to do, we are going to use the brown wire connected directly to ground on the Arduino. And then we are going to get the red wire that is going to go to 5 volts on the Arduino. Then. The signal wire is going to go on to pin number 11 on the Arduino. Right. Now that we have connected the servo motor, the LEDs, we now have to connect the keypad that we are going to use to control the lights and the servo motor. We are going to make sure that these wires are connected properly because any if you connect even one single wire improperly, then it's not going to work. So what we are going to do is, we are going to get the starting from the right. We are going to connect the first wire to pin number two on the Arduino. The second wire, we are going to connect it to pin number three on the Arduino. The third wire, we are going to connect it to pin number four on the Arduino. For pin number fourth wire we are going to connect it to pin number five but then the fifth wire we are not going to go to pin number six we are going to connect it to pin number nine then the following wire which is pin number six is going to go to pin number six on the Arduino the next wire will go to pin number seven on the Arduino 
the last wire is going to go on pin number eight on the Arduino. So after you have connected everything, you actually you should see that pin number ten is the only pin that is not being connected to anything on the onto the the items that we have connected. If everything is connected well, then it's time to upload a program. You can get the program via the link that is below this this video and it's on my website if everything is connected well and if you connect the power source which can be a computer or 9 volt then you should be able to enter a code via the keypad and the the server should turn through as if you are unlocking a door in the first instance the red light will still be, will be on signifying that it is locked then when you put your code in like in my case 753 then it will turn green and the servo motor will go through 90 degrees as a simulation of unlocking a door if you want to lock the door you just press a star or hashtag and it will turn red signify that the door is locked to unlock it you put in your code and it will turn green this is how you simulate unlocking or locking a door using a keypad i'll see you later guys